Hey, what's up, people? This is El Detention with a question for my music fans. I know it. Just about everybody likes some sort of music. But particularly, particularly the hip-hop fans. My fellow hip-hop fans, what up? Hey, don't get me wrong. I like every other genre right now with the exception of, uh, well, I'm not really a big fan of country music, but I do like some stuff. But anyway, I digress. Um... <clears throat> My fellow hip hop fans, be honest with me. Do y'all prefer the album, the EP, or the mixtape? When your favorite artist, whoever they may be, underground, mainstream, just on the come up, whatever, when they come out with a physical album, how does it feel to you, really? Like, what do you look for? What do you look for in a project? You know? What do you look for? Do you look for the title, or do you look for different features, or do you look for different sounds, or do you look for it all? Do you look for lyricism, or you just look for beats? Ask yourself that, you know what I'm saying, with certain artists, especially these days, you know? Do you guys really look for content, or are you just looking for a good sound and music to bump to? Is that it, you know? I ask, because it just seems like to me, seems like to me nowadays, when an artist really seems to shine without holding back is probably on a mixtape and i'm talking like these 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 songs that they put out for free these songs that they put out for free online you know down you know downloaded there next thing you know it ends up on somebody's mixtape you know or, or or you know or just on somebody's uh ipod you know but when the album comes out Sometimes it falls short, depending on who it is, because it doesn't always happen to everybody, but there's, you know, you can't always get a hit. You can't always get a hit. The mixtapes, I've always been a big fan of mixtapes because mixtapes seem more creative, and a lot of times they seem like, depending on the tracks, the artist goes in harder, or the ba or, or or you know, or the band or what have you, because there's mixtapes for just about every genre. You just gotta know where to look, you know? And... The mixtape spots, you know, because technically it's still illegal, depending. I guess that's why a lot of artists put their stuff out for free on the internet now. So do you, that's the thing, do you, like, the LPs, the EPs, the free P's, or the mixtapes? Like, full on. <laughs> Does it does it really matter? Does it really matter to you? No matter what kind of genre you're in, if an artist comes out with a new with a new, you know, with a new project, are you like really excited about it? Do you follow them? On, like you know, a lot of artists have Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. Do you like what do you look for? What do you look for when it comes to music? When it comes to when it comes to artistry? You know, stuff like that. What do you look for? Do you look for lyrics? Do you look for beats? Do you look for certain types of vibes? Do you or what, do you look for feature guests? What, 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 what is it? Everybody has their own opinion. And get this, I just found out all of 20 minutes ago, all right, reading an article off of hiphopdx.com that 50 Cent, yeah, 50 Cent, who has pretty much got his nose in just about everything, you know, having, you know, anything he can make a buck off of, because let's face it, he is a businessman, you know, I'm a fan of his earlier stuff, not so much his newest stuff, no offense to, you know, to, to anybody, you know, with his new stuff now, but I'm, I'm a bigger fan of, of, you know, when he was, when it seemed like he was hungrier, you know, but, one thing that I didn't really think that would mix, but it's going to happen. 50 Cent is signing Pauly D. Yes, DJ Pauly D of the Jersey Shore to G-Unit Records. What the heck does this mean? Really? Is he doing this for money? Or is he doing this because he thinks that Pauly D actually has talent? Because I've seen Pauly D on the turntables, you know, when I flip to channels. Because personally, I can't really stand watching the Jersey Shore. I'm going to just put that out right now. I cannot stand 
the Jer the Jersey Shore show. I have nothing against the people involved in the show, but I cannot stand most reality shows out right now. So when I read that, I'm like, are you serious, 50? Because according to this official article, he wants to sign Pauly D to a three-album deal before the next season of Jersey, of Jersey Shore starts. Three-album deal with G-Unit Records. I, I don't, I, I don't, does that balance what, I, I mean, I know it's good to, it's good to go different, but what, 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 what does this mean, really? I know Pauly D's got a following, but as far as music, what is he going to, album, what, what, what is he going to do? Is he going to sing? It, it, does he rap now? Somebody tell me this. I mean, Kim, Kim Kardashian's got a single out. So what next, Pauly D? I mean, Paris Hilton tried to put an album out. Pauly D's next? Uh, you know, no offense to none of them. I'm just, try, I'm just trying to figure out what y'all think. Is this for real? Or is it just for money? Is it for talent? Or is it just, or is it just a flop? Is it just a flop waiting to happen? What is, what is, what is it? Are they making a joke on him? Are they gonna, are they gonna pull a William Hung? If y'all don't remember who William Hung was, he was that dude from American Idol a few years back who sung um, She Bangs by Ricky Martin. And the thing was, he had a, you know, a, a really kind of, yeah, he had a deep Chinese accent and, well, I don't know what he was, sorry, sorry. Uh, he had a deep accent and, you know, he could not sing. But they gave him a shot. Gave him an album deal. He put out an album where he pretty much did a compilation of other artists' songs, like his version of different songs. I listened to that entire album just to see what it was like, and I'm like, man, he murdered I Believe I Could Fly. He murdered that by R. Kelly, and by that, I don't mean it was good. I mean it was just, it gave me a headache. I mean, why'd they do this to him? Seriously. It must have been a joke, but big ups to him for trying, you know. For anybody who's trying and not just in it for the money, big ups to you. Anybody on the come up right now that just wants to do music to do music and, yeah, maybe get a little bit here and there, but doesn't really care if they, you know, end up making it, like, huge. Because let's face it, the industry is shady. All right, and I don't mean shady records. I mean the industry itself, the music industry, shady. Okay, they will sign you, and if you don't do good enough, because what they expect, they will drop you like a sack of freaking potatoes. They will drop you quicker than Britney Spears drops her babies. No, no. But you know what I mean. It just, I don't know. What do y'all think? Holly D, G Unit, does it mix well? Does it mesh well? Can you really see him on this? I mean, it, does he even really know? Is this real or what? I'm thinking it's official because it's on an official site, but you never know. But what do y'all think? And with that, I'm Ogatenshi, and that was a quick on the brain question. Peace.